And welcome to the Hollywood Top two movies of the week. So stay tuned and we'll be right back with the top ten movies.
Hollywood Review. Thanks for joining me tonight. Let me see if I can adjust this volume. Obviously not. There, that's better, I think. I don't want to blow your eardrums out. Okay, so let me finish this up here with the sharing and notifications and all that good stuff, and we'll get right to it. All right. Okay, done, yeah. Okay, so top 10 movies of the week. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> I'll bet you can't guess. But then again, I'll bet you can. Okay, we're going to start. Okay, with number 10. Um, I'm surprised it's made it. It what? Well, it dropped too. It was number eight last week. Um, cats, and we've discussed this. They should have left it um, on Broadway in the you know alive. They shouldn't have made a movie. Twenty uh, percent tomato meter, only fifty three percent audience, and that's you know quite a few thousands. So. Critics say, despite its formidable cast, this adaptation is a clawful mistake that will leave most view viewers begging to be put out of their misery. Get it? Oh, ha, ha. So, yeah, not so good at the box office with this. Um, of course, we all know this is by Andrew Lloyd Webber's beloved smash musical Cats. And the poems from Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats, Cats by T.S. Eliot. So, that's where it should have stayed. They have an awesome cast, and it's too bad. James Corden, Judy Dench, uh, Idris Elba, Jennifer Hudson, Ian McLennan, um, Taylor Swift, Rebel Wilson. Just a great, great cast. Um, so, and it's too bad it didn't work out. Okay, number nine for the week, Bombshell, 67% tomato meter, 84% of the audience liked it. Uh, critics say, Bombshell benefits from a terrific cast and a worthy subject, but its impact is muffled by a frustrating inability to go deeper than the uh, surface of the story. So... And this is about the star of Charlize uh, Theron and Nicole Kidman. Um, and of great cast in this. It's a revealing look inside the most powerful and controversial media empire of all time. Fox News and the explosive story of the woman who brought down the infamous man who created it. Charlize Theron, Nicole Kidman, Margot Robbie, John Lithgow, Kate McKinnon. Connie Britton. Bombshell. Okay. Number eight. This is a surprise one. 
Uh, it was in the top 10 last week also, too, if you remember. Uncut Gems. Uh, 92% tomato meter and 51% of the audience out of just about 10,000 people. Uh, critics say uh, it reaffirms the uh, Safdies as masters of anxiety in inducing cinema. Proves Adam Sandler remains a formidable dramatic actor when given the right material. And this is about um, a charismatic New York City jeweler, always on the lookout for the next big score. When he makes a series of high-stakes bets that could lead to the windfall of a lifetime, he must perform a precarious high-wire act, balancing business, family, and encroaching adversaries on all sides in his relentless pursuit of the ultimate win. Adam Sandler, Julia Fox, Eric Bogassian, uh, Kevin Garrett, Judd Hirsch, Uncut Gems. Okay. Number seven this week, which was number eight. Uh, I'm s- uh, yeah. Knives Out, still in the top ten. Awesome movie. I love this movie. 97% to marry to meet her 94% audience. Knives Out sharpens old murder mystery tropes with a keenly assembled suspense outing that makes brilliant use of writer-director Rian Johnson's stellar ensemble. The cast is fantastic. Um, and I love these murder mysteries like this. I love this. I love Clue. I thought that was freaking hilarious. But anyway, getting back to it. Um, this pays tribute to mystery mastermind Agatha Christie in Knives Out. A fun modern-day murder mystery where everyone is a suspect. When renowned crime novelist Harlan Thrombe is found dead at his estate just after his 85th birthday, the inquisitive and debonair detective Benoit Blanc um, it is enlisted, mysteriously enlisted to investigate. From Harlan's dysfunctional family to his devoted staff, Blank sifts through a web of red herrings and self-serving lies to uncover the truth behind Harlan's untimely death. It has a stellar cast. Daniel Craig as Benoit Blanc, Chris Evans, Anna Darmus, Jamie Lee Curtis, Michael Shannon, Don Johnson, Tony Collette, um, just great, Edie Patterson, Frank Oz, Christopher Plummer. So, uh, I, I, I highly recommend this movie to go see. Uh, number six is, uh, I'm not surprised, really. Um, on the weekends now, there's nothing much to do. The holidays are over. Spies in Disguise. It's animated. 76% tomato meter, 91% audience. It's a cheerfully undemanding uh, animated adventure that's elevated by its voice cast. It's funny, fast-paced, and family-friendly. So there you go. And this is about super spy Lance Sterling and scientist Walter Beckett, who are almost exact opposites. Lance is, Lance is smooth, suave, and debonair. Walter is not. But when events take an unexpected turn, this unlikely duo is forced to team up for the ultimate mission that will require an almost impossible disguise. Transforming Lance into the brave, fierce, majestic pigeon. Yay! Uh, Walter and Lance suddenly have to work as a team, or the whole world is in peril. Of course, Will Smith, Tom Holland, Rashida Jones, uh, Reba McIntyre, Rachel Bronson, uh, uh, DJ Khalid, Awesome, awesome. Okay, six spies in disguise. Number five. Uh, okay, not a whole lot on this yet. The Grudge uh, just came out. Um, 17% tomato meter, only 22% audience score. Don't forget these numbers are low yet. Uh, dull, ooh, dull and derivative. The rebooted Grudge wastes a talented cast and filmmaker on watered-down scares that may leave viewers nursing grievances of their own. Ouch! Savage. Um, of course, it's a remake, as we all know. 
After a young mother murders her family in her own house, a detective attempts to investigate the mysterious case, only to, to discover that the house is cursed by a vengeful ghost. Not targeted by the demonic spirits, the detective must do anything to protect herself and her family from harm. Andrea Riseborough, she's the detective. Demian Bisher, uh, John Oro, William Sadler, Frankie Faison. Okay, the grudge. Mm. But it's in fifth place, so somebody's seen it, right? Okay, fourth. Still up there, Frozen 2. Uh, not on my list to see, but hey, the kids love it. 70% tomato meter, 92% of the audience. And that's, you know, upwards of 50,000 people. So, Frozen 2 can't quite recapture the show-stopping feel of its predecessor, but it remains a dazzling adventure into the unknown. Of course, obviously. All right. Um, okay, why was Elsa born with magical powers? The answer is calling her and threatening her kingdom. Together with Anna, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven, she'll set off on a dangerous but remarkable journey in Frozen. Elsa feared her powers in Frozen. Elsa feared her powers were too much for the world. In Frozen 2, she hopes they are enough. So, Frozen 2, of course, Kristen Bell, Adina Menzel, Josh Gad, Jonathan Groff, uh, Sterling K. Brown, Frozen 2, number four this week. It's in the same place. The next four on up um, are in the same places as they were last week. Number three, Little Women, 95% tomato meter, 92% audience. A stellar cast and a smart, sensitive retelling of its classic source material. Uh, little Women proves some stories truly are timeless. Okay. And, of course, it's about the March Sisters. Um, it draws from the classic novel of Louisa May Alcott um, and unfolds as the author's alter, e alter ego, Joe March. She reflects back and forth on her fictional life. On uh, Goeg's take, the beloved story of the March sisters, four young women, each determined to live life on her own terms, is both timeless and timely. We have Sario Sorona, Emma Watson, Florence Pugh, Eliza Scanlon, Laura Dern, Little Women. Okay. Uh, number two, same as last week. Jumanji, the next level, which is on my list to see, of course, and my list grows every day. 71% uh, tomato meter, 87% audience, yay! Critics say, like many classic games, Jumanji, the next level, retains core components of what came before while adding enough fresh bits to keep things playable. Yes, of course. I gotta see this. I love Jumanji. I thought it was so excellent. Okay. Uh, the gang is back, but the game has changed. As they return to Jumanji to rescue one of rescue one of their own, they discover that nothing is as they expect. The players will have to brave part have to brave parts unknown and unexplored, from the arid deserts to the snowy mountains, in order to escape the world's most dangerous game. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Of course you have Dwayne Johnson, Jack Black, Kevin Hart, uh, Karen Gillan, Nick Jonas, Aquafina as me. Hi, sweetie. Good to see you. Okay, number one, of course, still in the number one position, uh, is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Okay, 53% tomato meter. I don't know why they're so against this. I have no idea. Uh, but the audience says boo-hoo. 
they come in at 86% audience score. And that's out of almost 90,000 people. So, uh, tomato meter. Critics say uh, that Rise of Skywalker suffers from a frustrating lack of imagination. But it does conclude this beloved saga with fan-focused devotion. Ouch. Off tonight, huh? Okay. Alrighty. Uh, no one's ever really gone. Ray's journey continues and the Skywalker saga concludes. So, there you go. That's the movie info. Gosh darn it. That's the movie info. So, uh, so number one was Star Wars um, Rise of the Skywalker. The Rise of Skywalker. So, interesting. Uh, I'm going to tell you what's coming up. Opening this weekend. Uh, 1917. I don't know who's going to see that. Um, I don't mind war movies, but I'm not going to, I'm, I'm just not going to go see it. I'll, I'll see it, uh, when it comes out on DVD. Uh, Just Mercy, open this weekend with Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx, and that looks kind of interesting. Already 82% tomato meter, 99% audience score, 99%. Um, so, it dramatizes a real-life injustice with solid performances, Hi, Ike. Okay. With solid performances, a steady directional hand, and enough urgency to overcome a certain degree of earnest advocacy. So that is um, just mercy. And this is a, a powerful and thought-provoking true story. It follows young lawyer Brian Stevenson, and his history-making battle for justice. After graduating from Harvard, he had his pick of lucrative jobs. Instead, he heads to Alabama to defend those wrongly condemned or who were not afforded proper representation with the support of a local advocate. So there you go. Just mercy. It actually looks pretty good. Not too bad, Ike. Thank you. Thanks for asking. How are you? Haven't seen you in forever. So, Just Mercy. That came out this weekend. So, let me know if you go see any of these. and Because uh, I want to know. Uh, Underwater came out. That's with Kristen Stewart. Oh, joy of joys. Um, anybody who knows me knows <laughs> I'm not a Kristen Stewart fan. <laughs> she shows about much emotion as a rock. But, uh, you know, there's people out there who like her, so you might want to see that. That's where they're underwater, seven miles underwater, and see what they come up against. Um, the Corrupted, interesting. Uh, let's see. Les Miserables, open today. Again, really, I, we know the story enough already. Uh, the Dawn. I just pick one randomly. Let's see what this is about. Uh, this is about following the murder of her family at the hands of her father. In the wake of World War One. a young woman is sent to live in a convent. However, the demons that plagued her father follow, reawakening the nightmare of her past. Interesting. Uh, and that is called The Dawn. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Reality Queen comes out this weekend. Uh, Tanhaji, the unsung warrior. Uh, the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson. Eh, 0% rating on this. So we shall see. Of course, they're bringing it up again. Really? Okay. So that is opening this weekend. Coming soon, we have Weathering with you. Okay, next weekend, got to see Bad Boys for Life. Oh, yeah. 
and Doolittle with Robert Downey Jr. and Antonio Banderas. I love Antonio Banderas. He's so great. Um, so, two movies I want to see. Uh, the Turning, I think that is more like a remake of The Innocence. Okay. Um, Birds of Prey. And the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Of course, Margot Robbie, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. So, Birds of Prey. Interesting. Yes, we women rule. Uh, Ian McGregor as Black Mask, Rosie Perez as Renee, and so forth. Birds of Prey. So that is also opening next week. Oh, a couple weeks. Uh, February 7th, Lodge, February 7th. Uh, the new Sonic the Hedgehog is opening Valentine's Day. Okay. Uh, the King's Man, also Valentine's Day. When it gets closer, we'll, um, we'll be, you know, telling you, I'll be telling you again. Um, interesting, The Call of the Wild with Harrison Ford, February 21st. Uh, and there's a few other ones coming out then. Quiet Place Part 2 will be March, by the way, just to let you know. So, lots of good stuff coming up. So, I can't wait to get to those. Interesting, right? Anybody see any of these movies that we're talking about? Just wondering. Uh, let me know if you have. Okay, we don't have too much time, and we don't want you to miss Freaks in the Basement with our own biggest freak, Chris Stevens, coming up in about half an hour or so. So, uh, Top DVDs and streaming, Countdown, uh, The Lighthouse with Robert Pattinson and William Defoe. That's supposed to be really good. Three Christ, I don't know about that. Uh, Snatchers, Dark Encounter. Uh, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, Zombieland Double Tap, woo -hoo. Uh The Addams Family, Gemini Man, Joker, uh, Lucy in the Sky, Natalie Portman, The Aeronauts, The Two Popes, lots of good uh, streaming movies, Judy, um, da da da. Six Underground, I see Rambo Last Blood, I saw that, I was like, thank God that's over, he looked really, well he's 73 for crying out loud, I was like, wow, um, Abominable Freaks with Emile Hirsch and Bruce Dern, um, Downtown Abbey, so, those are your top DVD and streaming movies. Coming soon, uh, Frozen 2, February 25th already. Terminator, Dark Fate, that should be out on Tuesday. Uh, the Witch, Part 1, The Subversion. Okay. Uh, Parasite, Tuesday. Premature, another week yet. Uh, Serendipity, February 4th, Come As You Are, Valentine's Day, um, Come to Daddy, Elijah Wood, February 7th, After Midnight, uh, Valentine's Day. So, next week we'll go through it again because there will be more coming out. So, those will be coming out. Anybody watch the TV series Evil? Oh my God, that is so good. And of course, Prodigal Son. So, now I've heard Ford versus Ferrari is supposed to be really good. Anybody sees that, let me know. Um, lots of good stuff. Lots of good movies out there. So, let me know what you see and what you don't, okay? Um, uh, of course, everybody's, you know, going yay about you, season two. 
I have not seen it. Ooh, sorry. Um, the L Word. Watchmen, of course. That's pretty good. Um, Mandalorian, of course. Everybody loves that. We have Disney+. Plus. Uh, the End of the You Know What World, Season 2. The Good Place, Season 4. And it's too bad that's going to be ending. There's a lot of them that this is their last season. Um... The Devil Murders is fascinating, by the way. I really like that. Um, Evil is so awesome Thursday nights. I've been recording it while football's been on, so I've been able to watch it now. Prodigal Son on Mondays. Oh, my God, Tom Payne. Wow, what a great um, vehicle for him to perform, and he's really, really good. Of course, Tom Payne, a.k.a. Jesus on TWD. So check it out for sure. Um... That is pretty much kind of wraps it up. Um, so I don't want to hold it up anymore. If you've seen uh, The Rise of the Walker, please let me know. You can get a hold of me at KBLP, LL, KBLP LLC on Facebook. Um, or KBLP LLC 4 on YouTube. Let me know what you think of some of these movies. Uh, good to see you, Rachel and Ike. Ike, I haven't seen you in forever. Um, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow night, Rachel. So, there you go. Um, a couple of things. Please be safe out there. The weather is freaking insane. You have snow and ice to the north. We have torrential rain into the south, severe storm. So everybody, please be prepared for whatever weather you're supposed to get uh, for power outages. Uh, don't go out if you don't have to. And flooding. So everybody, please stay safe out there. Uh, pray for Australia and, and, of course, always for the U.S. Poor animals in Australia. My heart just goes out to them for sure and the firefighters out there. And we sent some the U.S. did. Yay! They were so happy. They needed some rest. So, um, I think next week we're going to take a movie and really break it down and talk about it. Um, I'm just going to randomly pick one next week and that's what we're going to do. I was going to do it tonight, but I'm really afraid that we'll run into Christmas time and I don't want to do that. So... Coming up tomorrow, we have Encounter and Ecto with Michelle and myself. You guys are probably getting tired of hearing me all freaking week, right? Oh, well. Sunday, Monday, off Tuesday, we're going to talk about the games this weekend. And again, I can't say enough about the officiating as all you people who listen to Sports Talk knows how I feel about that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, Wednesday, we have Walking Dead Planet with Michelle and me. Yay! And then Thursday, DWD, we're back to Hollywood Review and then Encounters of the Strange Kind. Got some good stuff for you. So, y'all are going to get tired of hearing me, but that's okay. And then before you know it, TWD will be back on Tuesdays. Yay! So, i uh, going to wrap it up again. Everybody, please stay safe out there. Please stay safe out there. Uh, be prepared for the weather. And don't go away. Um, our Chris Stevens will be on with Freaks in the Basement. Uh, you can't miss that. It's amazing music. Really good. Um, let's see what else is there. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I think that'll wrap it up. Can't think of anything else. Everybody have a great weekend. Um, take care. Stay safe. Peace out, y'all.
There's a moment in your bones when, when the fire takes over. Blood is running, heart is pumping as the battle gets closer. They can say what they want now. Cause we'll be screaming now. Every spotlight, every sound bite, everybody who gave up is just a fuel for wanting him more than anybody against us. They can say what they want now. Cause we'll be screaming now. We can be. We sure ain't the last Pushing forward But we don't forget the past Our fight is far from over And we're running low on options If I don't return with my shield I'll be coming home upon it I've learned that history can't be reversed The end of the world was a verdict For which we could not rehearse I gotta assemble a team I can trust in again Leaving a legacy behind That isn't dust in the wind Set back, never felt we lost it Break storms, not a game for profit I lost family to find the way Hold it down for my people, I won't die today Illegitimate, nothing to fiddle with Just a little bit of faith and we're out the predicament Stand behind me and give it your all vow We're never gonna fall down Forgot one shot, let the energy all out Walking alone in the night, this vet in my eyes Can't shake it out of my mind Lost everything I love, is this what I become? I know I don't deserve a second chance But maybe there's a shot that we could take it back For all they stole away I do it every day Now it's time to make things right I'm mending our mistakes The ashes fall so we enter the call There's one last stand to make Whatever it takes 
lives are on the line, man, there is no try When it was time to fight, I was just wondering why Why the beast inside choose to run and hide Went from wrecking ball to someone I don't recognize But if you bet on my demise, well, surprise, surprise I'm still here and still I rise No dry eyes among my allies My drive's revived Won't stop till history's revised Lost it all now, all that's left This job, this mission, I can't forget We can't stop till we bring them home 50% of all we know Gotta get back to how it was Some move on, but not us Whatever it takes, I'll pay the price Take my soul, I'll give my life Listen, I learned my lesson So it's time to settle down If there were a weapon I think it tried to turn this hell around I would have kept at it every single night To figure it out instead of it just assemble now But I gotta think of how we're gonna make the titan bow Remember the doc said One out of 14 million homo scientists is proud But not that brilliant Let's plan on living As we take back the hours that were stolen from our and now it's time to make things right I'm mending our mistakes The ashes fall so we enter the call There's one last stand to make One last stand to make and now it's time to make things right I'm mending our They strung up a man, they say who murdered three. Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be if we met at midnight in the hanging tree. Are you, are you coming to the tree where dead man called out for his love to flee? Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be If we met at midnight in the hanging tree Are you, are you coming to the tree Where I told you to run so we'd both be free Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be If we met at midnight that in the hanging tree Are you, are you Coming to the tree Where necklace of hope Side by side with me Strange things did happen here No stranger would it be If we met and met That in the hanging tree Are you, are you Coming to the tree Where I told you to run so we both be free Strange things did happen here No stranger would it be If we met at midnight in the hanging tree Are you, are you coming to the tree? They strung up a man They say we were free Strange things did happen here No stranger would it be 